promise me, darling, if I tell the truth, pour out my deepest secrets just for you. Give me the world, I'll trade it for just one hour with you under the moon. Nobody understands me like you do. You pick me up and turn my gray sky blue. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I should be Cause me without you, it's like winter in June So I'll teach you three new words Aku cinta kamu And if you're from my world, that just means I love you Show you the view, all that you deserve I'll be your boy and you'll be my girl Now you try, it's your turn Hope you say I love you too mm -hmm. Call me lovesick, I kinda like it To be honest, I don't think I could deny it Anytime I'll be down for you always And if you want we could drive back to my place Maybe I'm crazy Maybe I should be Cause me without you It's like winter in June So I'll teach you three new words Aku cinta kamu and if you're from my world, that just means I love you Show you the view, all that you deserve I'll be your boy and you'll be my girl Now you try, it's your turn Hope you say I love you too Oh, oh were like mesmerized and charmed <laughs> by your performance. Yes, it was a nice, heartwarming uh, solo concert or private concert for us. Actually. Private concert, <laughs> yes. What a yes, privilege please, to please work. Please sit down. Thank uh, you so much. Awesome. Thank for you coming for coming to, to our studio. Oh. Thank you guys so much, man. It's so cool to, to be here and it's like, I was saying, it's like a private concert, you know? Yeah. So. Yes, thank this is, you. This is what I like about doing the morning show is that you get Guys like you playing us these nice, beautiful songs and just early this morning. Wow, Lovely. it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. Beautiful studio and uh, thanks for listening to the music. Yes, I listen to your music. And I think uh, you have very high uh, conversion rate, meaning those who listen to your music, they can easily fall to be one of your fam. I agree. Yes. Fans. Wow. That's a very technical <laughs> Become a member term, of huh? Lula fam. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Conversion so rate. <laughs> Yeah. So tell us more about the new song that you just dropped. Yes, uh, three words. Three new words. Aku cinta padamu. Three new yes. words. Aku cinta kamu. The three words. Yes. Which um, it's a uh, it's a really special song to me. I think there's two main reasons why I wrote the song. Mm -hmm. The first one is because I just wanted to teach people from around the world a little bit of Indonesian culture, mm. which is um, where my whole family is from. Even though I've been living around the world in different places, I always carried that like Indonesian soul with me. Mm. Yes. And I thought it was time to kind of teach that to people. Thank you for carrying that. Oh, of course, of <laughs> course. Um, and I guess the second reason, which is a little bit on a more personal note, my uh, fiance, oh. she is not from Indonesia. So right. she's actually from America. And I needed to... I've been trying to teach her a little bit of Bahasa Indonesia, but right. it's proving a challenge, you know. Um, yes. But at least I can teach her three of the most important words. Very important words. The oh, most very important. romantic <laughs> I'm having story behind yeah. it. But you didn't uh, release it as the original one that you produced, right? Bisa, 
because like the label said it was cheesy. What was your uh, reaction yeah. to that? Yeah, so Did no, we, we had um, two versions of the song originally mm -hmm. and the first one that I wanted to put, it actually had a voice recording of me uh, really trying to teach her. So it was like, repeat after me, aku, and then she's like, aku. Cinta, cinta. So it so, was not staged, it's real. It was real. Love it confession. Real. Right. Yeah, but um, right, right, right. now that's like an that's alternate right. version. We'll see. Maybe it can come out one day. I yeah. think if you release that one, it will hit like 30 million streams <laughs> right away. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I mean, I mean, Just no. maybe. Yeah, but uh, coming back to, to what you mentioned that you, uh, you are not uh, raised here in Indonesia. So tell us a bit more about your background and how did your uh, music started and where to study and all that. Cool, yeah. Um, so I was born in LA and my family moved there from Jakarta. Uh, when I was about six or seven years old, we moved to Singapore. Yes. So we we're right. kind of just like world citizens at this right. point, you know. Um, so you were actually American. Yes, 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 but with an Indonesian soul. I guess. Mm. Indonesians. Mm. Uh, yeah, so my parents speak to me in Bahasa Indonesia, but I respond to them in English, in English. which is a mistake, by Passive the way. Passive Bahasa Indonesia then. Yeah, so which I'm, I'm mistake. always very shy to speak, you yes. know. Tapi bisa lah, bisa hidup. Bisa sedikit sedikit. And then, I, I guess I, I grew up in Singapore like all mm. my life, um, until I one day decided that I really want to take music more seriously and I went to school in the US so I was studying in Boston for right. four years. For music? Yeah, music for four years. Ah, nice. Graduated during COVID um, and have just been releasing music ever since. Okay, mm. so I would like to know why you decide to use uh, Lola Boy as your stage name. Yes. Wow. Why Lola Boy? This is um, one of I mean, your songs, right? Yeah, it's it's because um, I guess the, the two words is lullaby boy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for me, I feel like all of us have a kid inside our souls, yeah. mm -hmm. and we're always trying to look for answers to love and life yes. every single day. It's like a never-ending journey. Mm -hmm. So I hope that my music can be like a lullaby for that kid inside of our souls. It is. It is very calming and comforting and make you feel good when someone, yeah. When the first time I listen to your music, that's why I tell you, right? It's mm -hmm. easy for people to enjoy your music and become uh, become one of your fans. Yes. Wow, thank you, Aline. That's as, so as, kind as of you. Aline mentioned a conversion rate because she's a financial planner, so it's a very technical <laughs> technical term. So, uh, conversion, conversion rate, rate yes. <laughs> so what I noticed from your songs, it's like, a series of stories yeah. like you were nervous yeah. right and then you mentioned about someone like you how you feel grateful that you are being loved by someone who's so beautiful yeah and wow. then you have this uh, three words it's like a story tell me yeah. about it and some of your fans even like do you have the sequel to this song like uh, the right. someone like you one right is yeah. it the sequel to new words can you tell us more uh, it, well I guess Every single one of my songs is like sharing a page from my diary to the world. And mm. I'm just really thankful that I get to do that mm. because it's like, it's always very personal. All these songs are kind of yeah. like life stories and things that I've been through. Um, so to be able to share that with the fans and have it be received, it's, it means a lot to me, you know? Mm. And yeah, there's always sequels. Everything's connected. So mm -hmm. cool. yeah, beautiful. Right. I mean, I'm thinking because this is the uh, obviously age of information where people want to share. Uh, you you instead of writing diary in a book, you tweet like you post on an Instagram. Right. And maybe your version is through music, like you convey your messages and your uh, diary through music, and you For like sure, you yeah. receive it. Right? Yeah, it's beautiful. also kind of like taking a photograph. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I can always listen back to my songs and be taken back to that time. You know? mm. So when I saw your video, like creating music, making music, it seems like so effortless for you. Like, wow. do you find like any challenges in creating the melody or lyrics? Wow, uh, effortless is, uh, that's a big word. Uh, <laughs> seems it, like that. Yeah, thank you so much, thank <laughs> you. It, it's, every song is kind of different. Yes. Sometimes a song can be written in five minutes, mm. but sometimes it can take five months. Mm. And, uh, 
it really, really depends on the mood of the moment mm -hmm. and um, what I'm going through in my life. Some, surprisingly, sometimes it's the, it's the more sadder songs that come out faster. It's like the happy ones that actually take right. like because longer it, to it's, write. It's from the inside, maybe. Huh? I think so, man. Yeah. I think so, yeah. For me, personal experience, maybe. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and right, right. I saw that you were very, very, very kind to your fans, not only in Indonesia, but as well as in Singapore and other countries. Like, tell me uh, how important is your Indonesian fans? Oh, wow. Um, the fans are the most important part of this whole music journey. If it wasn't for them, I don't think I would have that purpose. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't have that support system. And they really give me uh, motivation to just keep going all the time. Um, the Indonesian fans though, they are on another planet. You know, they're, they're just, uh, they're so special to me. Mm -hmm. And every time I come back to Indonesia and I get to perform for them, it's it's always an amazing experience. Yeah, I right. love them very much. Right, yeah. right. I, I saw this. Uh, I mean, I'm on a, a Spotify right now. Oh, nice. And I've seen that you have a, a total of maybe a hundred million views. Mm. And how do you feel about? I mean, this is not a small number. How do you feel about that? It's unbelievable, man. <laughs> Even hearing you say it right now, it's it's like quite shocking to me. Because mm. um, I remember when I was just hoping to get 1,000 streams. Mm. And, and I remember when I hit my first thousand, I was like, yeah, it's like so happy. Mm. And now it's like, like you say, 100 million. Yeah. It's, it's you're, unbelievable. You're a star so, now. <laughs> uh, always gonna try to keep going more and mm. try to grow more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so is there any future plans that you can share to us? Maybe mm. uh, some collaborations or some music challenge to your fans? I saw a little kid singing your yeah. song. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Right, yeah. right. Um, or a concert or anything in the near future. Always new music yes. coming out. Um, I, I have big plans to have some concerts. I've never done uh, a ticketed show in Indonesia before. So I'm, I'm hoping to do that and also just performing all around the world. We have some festivals coming up. Um, uh, I haven't announced that yet, okay. but announcing it here yes, for the yes. first time okay. yet. Yeah. Where will you play? I uh, can't say yet, okay. But, okay. but festivals are coming um, and I'm also working on my second album. So just, yeah, music is life and I'm happy I get to do this. Okay, right. is there any Indonesian musicians that you're interested in collaborating? You okay. know, I'm, I'm a really yeah, old soul. Yeah. Um, my favorite Indonesian How old? Band. Tell me because I'm old. <laughs> no, you're old. <laughs> Uh, I love Ungu. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, but wow. The vocalist has become a politician. Right I know, now. I know. Oh, wow. But, but Ungu, he's it's been a while. still killing it. He's amazing. I just went to um, my first uh, Indo festival called uh, Pesta Pora. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's amazing, right? So, yeah, I got a chance to experience all the culture and just get in touch with my roots, you know? Yes. And um, they performed and I thought they were amazing. Any song from them that you remember? Mm. That you like the like? most? Oh yeah, so many. Kakashi <laughs> Galaku. Yeah. That's an old, that's an old one, yeah, that's yeah. an old one. It's a 2000 song. Yeah, yeah. So this is my producer is asking you, can you sing one of the Indonesian songs that you know? Wow. Well, maybe Ungu song. If I'll just know. sing that one line, I guess. Okay. Sure, yes. Ku mencintaimu lebih dari apapun. She's like smiling over there at the back. <laughs> I think the whole studio, even my producers in the control, become an instant fan of you. Oh, of wow. you. Yes. Oh, I'm you, you, you totally sounded like uh, I can see a collaboration going, you know, uh, with Pasha Ungu. Oh, let's so. make it happen. Yes. I hope this video viral. I think you need to sing more of Indonesian songs. I should, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I think so. <laughs> Okay, so looking forward for your uh, future project, uh, new songs, and as well as three new words hitting 30 million streams, right? Thank yes. you. Yes, amazing, amazing. Targeted. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. Yes. Congratulations for reaching to this stage. It's a milestone for you, ob uh, for obvious reasons. And uh, hopefully, future will be greater for you. Wow, I, I appreciate you guys for having me here. This has been such a pleasure for me. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, and please, Ungu, 
have a collab. Collab. Ungu, collab. Pasha Ungu, collab with this guy. With me. Okay. <laughs> and now let's take a break. After the break, we have more updates just for you. Stay with us.